Hey everyone, it's me Adrian with Inspired to Be Media, and I wanted to come to you guys to talk to you about day two. So let's just chat a little bit about day one that evening and night. So come around 3 34 o'clock, my daughter came home from school, and I was like, hmm. Should I just start my fast to uh, liquid pre-op diet tomorrow and go to Chick-fil-A tonight? <laughs> so I was like trying to convince her like I should just go to Chick-fil-A tonight and then I could start new and fresh the next day. And I was like, mm-mm. I can tell now I'm trying to get over it and I'm like, I can't do this. I have stayed committed to this. I've made a commitment to my health and I gotta stick with it, whether I like it or not. So, um, yeah, I pretty much had to um, decide, you know what? Even though you would like to have things this way and go and enjoy, you can't right now. And um, so I had to deal with it. And I got over it rather quickly. I thought that I would be, you know, kind of broken up about it, but I actually did okay. So, um, I wanted to talk about food funerals. Um, I noticed it seems like a lot of us in the weight loss surgery community and, of course, weight loss community decide to embark on a healthier lifestyle and journey and we say to ourselves that's it I'm not eating this way no more I'm not eating any fast food I'm not going out and we're like okay but before Monday come and that diet come I'm gonna have a few a food funeral I'm gonna have a food funeral and I'm gonna eat all the stuff that I love and this is going to be the last hurrah and if you're like me you've had about 20 30 food funerals and it turns into 20 30 extra pounds every time you have this food funeral where um, you eat all the foods you love and realize hmm this isn't a food funeral this is me binging on food because I'm missing my best friend, my comforter, um, you know, the thing that makes me feel good when things are crazy emotionally or um, just in my life, you know. So I had to nip it in the bud like, nope, I'm not going to go to Chick-fil-A and get those little yummy nuggets for the last time and start fresh the next day. I'm sticking to this and so it's day two i'm sure i'll have plenty of tempting trials and things like that but i just gotta pretty much shut myself off from everything and just say look you have went through all this work all this hard work and all of these steps to get where you're trying to go and i know you don't want to go backwards i don't want to go backwards i don't know about you so i'm like I've got to come to grips with the fact that I no longer can do these same things that I used to do. I have to say to myself, you know what, self? You can't have that pizza like the other girl can have that pizza. She may be on um, weight loss surgery um, post-op and she may eat pizza and she may eat donuts and cookies and cakes and all of that but are you in her shoes and are you at the level of um, health maturity that she's at and the truth of the matter is no I'm not so I can't judge anyone else who's had the weight loss surgery and they eat fried chicken and pizza and donuts and cakes and cookies and all of those things but I know for myself, even though I have those moments where I want to have those things, I can't eat them. Um, I can't eat them and 
just stop. And I can eat them in moderation. Don't get it twisted. I can eat them in moderation, but I'm going to eat them quite often and it will um, mess up. Even in moderation, if you eat them on a daily, it can mess up your weight loss goals. It can mess up your health. So yeah, maybe you're getting away with eating these things in moderation because you have that A, you have that self-control or B, you have that tool, whether it's lap band, um, RNY or gastric sleeve, and you got that tool that will only let you eat in moderation. That's cool, but what if you're eating those things on a daily, like it can catch up to you and it's not healthy to eat often. So for me, I know I got to stay away cause I'll eat it and I'll be like, mm, I could just get me another bite tomorrow and then for dinner and you know, so I'm just not gonna do it. No more food funerals for me. No more saying goodbye to all the foods that I love. I gained weight. I was in two in the 260s and I gained weight because I was doing this whole food funeral. Like, all right, this is my last chance to get in all the foods I love. Cannolis, pizza, um, basically all Italian food I love. I'm from Jersey and we have tons of Italian restaurants. And... I just got as many manicottis and stuffed manicotti and chicken parm and um, antipasta and oh my god real Italian pizza and so yeah I gained some weight and so this month is gonna be clearing out before surgery um, so I'm sticking to it is the bottom line of everything i hope that you guys stick to your goals and you don't throw too many food funerals it's okay to throw a funeral a food funeral once but you only die once right <laughs> so don't throw a bunch of food funerals or you'll be like me gaining over 10 15 pounds and all your hard work is down the drain and i tell you I'm not, I don't have no tools. So right now it's just me kicking butt, losing this weight, walking, working out, eating right. So 15 pounds is a lot of work for me. So to gain that back, that hurt. It hurt real, real bad. And I'm like, I can't do this no more. So I'm determined to stick to my goals. Um, I'm down some weight this time so i will post the weigh-in at the end of this video please give me a thumbs up if you like the video if there's things you'd like to talk about or hear me talk about i will be vlogging daily all month um so for the month of february you'll be seeing my face on the youtube and all on your internets um, so if there's something you want to talk about, you got to leave it below in the comments. If you don't feel comfortable, send me a message, you know, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up in the DM. It goes down in the DM, but not, not, I really don't get down in the DMs. Uh, don't send me no, no DPs. Okay. But, um, anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope that you're eating healthy and living life and inspired to be the best you. See you later. Peace. All right. Weigh-in day two. Two seventy-four point three. Fifteen point three.